Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. You know that 21-year-old woman using the pseudonym Jasmine Tri-Devil we told you about yesterday? Yeah, she claims to have had a third breast surgically attached to her chest for $20,000 in hopes that she'll land a show on MTV. Hoax or not, it has reached practically every corner of the internet. But if you think her story is weird now, get ready. It's about to get even weirder. A look at her website's registration info reveals that Tri-Devil's real name is Alicia Hessler. She's a Tampa Bay native who grabbed the media's attention in December last year by making a man who allegedly assaulted her hold a sign at an intersection with the words, I beat women, honk if I'm a scumbag. In return, Hessler declined to press formal charges. Tampa police say that Hessler stopped returning their calls after news of the event spread. Now, multiple plastic surgeons have also cast doubt on Hessler's claims. Dr. Matthew Schulman, a board-certified plastic surgeon in New York City, thinks the three-breast claim is a hoax that everyone's falling for. Dr. Schulman went on to say that the surgery, while theoretically possible, would take months, more than six, and would likely result in the three breasts being connected which is not the case in Jasmine's photographs. And then there's the incident report from Tampa International Airport. The report, filed by Jasmine after her baggage was stolen, contains a list of the items she's lost. One of the items is a three-breast prosthesis. You know what? This woman might just win the 2016 presidential election. He may not have released an album in the last 12 months, and he definitely didn't go on tour with any major A-list artist. But in the case of Dr. Dre, the music star was still able to earn Forbes' title of World's Highest Paid Hip-Hop Act of 2014. Thanks to Apple buying out Beats by Dr. Dre for a cool $3.2 billion, the 49-year-old earned an impressive $620 million last year, the highest yearly earnings total of any musician ever evaluated by the publication. The deal will eventually turn the rapper into hip-hop's first billionaire. Okay, new research indicates that it's the process of roasting peanuts that actually causes so many peanut allergies among children. But they still haven't determined what makes kids so allergic to taking a bath. The American government is making it hard for companies to move overseas. Yeah, the government will no longer give the companies any of their leftover empty cardboard boxes. Apple says that it set a new company record selling 10 million of the iPhone 6 in just three days. Another record was set when 10 million copies of that U2 album were removed in just three days. Move over, pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks' latest latte flavor is beer. Oh yeah, going to work in the morning, the office looks so much better through coffee goggles. Chris Jenner has filed for divorce from husband Bruce. The divorce petition seeks joint custody of the family plastic surgeon. Authorities have captured a mountain lion that had wandered into a residential neighborhood in Salt Lake City. It was pretty easy to spot. It's not every day that you see a mountain lion riding a bicycle. A new research program hopes to implant a small electrical device in humans that would monitor health, then stimulate nerves to repair any damage. Instead of take two aspirin, you just take two batteries. Someone has invented the Suitsi. Oh yeah. It's a one-piece outfit designed to look like you're wearing a business suit and shirt. So now a busy CEO can be comfortable all day long. You know, if you're that lazy, how did you even get your job? Hey, thanks for checking in. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report every weekday. The Frank D'Angelo Band currently appearing across the country during their fall tour. Tonight in Toronto at the Markham Theatre and then October 4th at the Casino in Halifax.